Welcome to episode 910, Tyler Perry, from homeless playwright to billionaire. This is an outline of episode 910. There are two reasons we study Tyler Perry. First, he's the world's first comedian billionaire. Second, he owns his own studio and is a billionaire at age 51. This is the box office of the Madea franchise. It made him about six hundred million dollars in a fifteen-year period. You see? Did I take that was my parking spot? And you gonna jump in front of me and take my damn parking spot? Are you insane? Put my car down. Okay, I'm gonna put it down for you. Old woman, put my car down now. Okay. <laughs> He was born poor and abused in New Orleans in 1969. I、um, was a child that was born to two wounded parents, and they were wounded children themselves. My mother was、uh, 17, and my father was about 19 when they got married. And I came along when when she was 24 years old. And there was a lot of pain in the house. There were a lot of arguments. He would he was very physically abusive and verbally abusive to the both of us. It was it was really a difficult and and very hard.、Um, Time, especially for a man child. I don't know what's like for a little girl, but I'm sure it's just as painful. But for a boy child, a man child, to watch his mother being beaten and belittled, it was really, really hard. It was a playwright at age 18. I, I wrote my first play. I was around 18 or 19 years old. But I had seen. I didn't know it was a play at the time. I watched the Oprah Winfrey show, and she said it was cathartic to write things down. What cathartic meant, you know, being a product of a substandard、uh, high school. And you definitely didn't know you'd be friends down the road either. No, did not know that. <laughs> did not know that. But I. But I、uh, started writing, and I was using different characters' names and these stories that I was telling, because a lot of them were things that I had been through. And a friend of mine found it. He said, "Man, this is a really good play."、And、I thought,、hmm, "Maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's a play." And it's really strange how you fall into your destiny. And that now the struggling years, 1993 to 1998. Forbes magazine reported he was once homeless. Three until 1998, I would I would try to do this play once a year. I, uh, and every time I would try to do it, I would have a job. I would go to my boss. I'd say, "Listen, I need to get three weeks off because I need to go do this play. I feel like this is going to be a big hit."、And、my boss would be like, "You just started working here two weeks ago. What do you mean you need three weeks off?" <laughs> For me, I would quit the job, go out and do the show. And every time I went out to do the show, the show failed, or so I thought. So for seven years. But in that time, I was learning. I was building a base. Slowly, the audience started to grow. They went from thirty to three hundred. To maybe 400, never got more than 800, but they were they were growing slowly over that time. But I kept the faith in believing that this. So how Tyler Perry became billionaire? It took him about 20 years. There are two steps. First, the 600 million dollar franchise Madea. We have already covered this in the beginning of this video. The second step is he purchased. And own his own studio. A true businessman, he paid thirty million dollars for three hundred and thirty acre former army base Fort McPherson in Atlanta. Famous movie Black Panther was produced there. The writer and director is the first African American to own a major film and television studio. And it's expanding as Perry transforms an old army base into his new Atlanta headquarters. In 2020, at age 51, Tyler Perry is a billionaire. Here are the three secrets of his success: first, multi-talented; second, love to work; third, hyper-focus on serving the customers. <laughs> I consider myself a storyteller. I'm a writer. I'm a producer. I'm an author. I'm an actor. I'm a director.、And、to be able to go into these different worlds is very powerful for me. So I love to work.
at the niche. Serve the audience that's coming. Serve them, serve, super serve them. Like just focus, hyper focus on them. Make sure that they are, are the nucleus and your intent. And what happened for me over the years is it grew and grew and grew and grew as long as I stayed focused on the core. And, and those are the things I learned very early on. Focus very strongly on the core. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Tyler Perry, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.